Welcome to my presentation. My name is Tom Godfrey. I'm a teacher, teacher trainer and CEO of ITI Istanbul. And my topic today is empowering teachers through community forums. And I'll start by explaining the title. What, what are community forums? Well, put simply, a community forum is where members of a community, English teachers, for example, meet together to discuss and find solutions to their problems. In other words, they are participant led, solution oriented opportunities for reflection and dialogue on critical incidents teachers face. So I imagine all teachers remember their first lesson. Um, and this is a critical incident that I want to describe to you. I certainly remember my first day uh, as a teacher. It's a recurring nightmare. I didn't choose teaching. Uh, teaching chose me. When I was at university, I wanted to be an actor, a star of stage and screen. And teaching came totally as a kind of unexpected blind date set up by my parents. Um, it was my mother who was, I guess, fueled by a unrelenting ambition for her only son, who saw an advertisement for English teachers in North Africa. And without saying anything to me about my life plans, she persuaded my father to apply for this job on my behalf. Um, I was no, I had no qualifications as, as a teacher. I mean, I knew as much about teaching as a fish knows about mountain climbing. So I was invited to this interview and I just explained, I, I confessed to them my lack of teaching experience and I apologised to the director of studies, an Irishman, um, and he was there with uh, uh, the director um, and the interview was at a, 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 an expensive hotel in London. And I said, I, I confess to them in, in all honesty, that I had no teaching experience and no qualifications. And I apologized, um, blaming my parents for the mix up. And I left and I thought, OK, that's that's my last episode with teaching. Now I can get on with what I want to do. But fate, it seems, had other plans. And a few days later, the telephone rang and I was offered a job in Libya. And that brings me to my first day as a teacher. I, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I was looking at the students. My hands were shaking so much I couldn't write on the whiteboard or do anything. And I realized I had no clue what I what I was doing. I was completely panic stricken. Um, and I managed to get to the break time and sat in the teacher's room and I thought, OK, that's it. And I heard all this shouting and noise outside the director's office. And I thought, OK, that's all the students complaining about me and uh, I will definitely get fired in a few minutes. And I kind of understood it. I thought, well, you know, I'm in the wrong place, in the wrong job, and this is all kind of a mistake. Nobody should enter into a classroom with no training to be a teacher at all. Actually, to say I had no training at all is not completely true. I had asked to observe a lesson the day before the previous day and I thought this saved me. I, I observed a lesson by David, who was a year older than me, 22, and he had a whole year's experience. And I thought, OK, I can watch David for a couple of lessons, observe him, learn how to teach. That's kind of my thinking. I could learn everything in two hours um, and that would be fine. I didn't realise that David was not stable mentally. Um, I watched David's lesson. Everything seemed OK. Uh, there was nothing unusual. David asked questions, students responded, and I thought, okay, this is this is not so difficult. I can do this. Um, little did I know that I was watching a lesson by a paranoid schizophrenic, as it turned out later. My crash course in teaching was from someone who was mentally unstable. Anyway, that brings us back to the teacher's room. I was waiting for my dismissal and the Director of Studies bursts in, white-faced, flustered, looking apprehensive, and I thought, OK, this is it. He's come to tell me that um, my time as a teacher has finished. Um, but no, that's not what happened. He had just been watching David's class, and apparently that had turned into some kind of psychological horror movie. Uh, and the director said he's, he's 
completely mad. And, and then he turned to me and he said, well, you saw him, you, you observed him yesterday. Why didn't you say something? Um, and I said, oh, well, actually, I thought David's lesson was, was quite good, um, which just showed how much I knew. Anyway, it turned out that David was, was more than an unconventional teacher. He was battling uh, paranoid schizophrenia and he was in a big, in a very difficult situation. And there was I thinking my inexperience and my shaking and nervousness was the biggest problem of the day. Um, but thanks to David's intervention, I not only survived my first teaching day, but I also kind of gained a whole new perspective on the difficulties teachers face. And my nervousness and my stage fright for my first lesson seemed completely insignificant compared to the demons um, that David was confronting. So I survived my first day of teaching and I also realized that fear um, that seems insurmountable at the time can be overcome when we put things into some kind of perspective. It also made me realize that teachers need support and training and they shouldn't be put into situations where they have to cope um, without that support and without that training.